Okay guys, so today I am here with a video on showing you how to enable arrow peak tabs in Google Chrome. So guys, this is a really handy thing, especially if you're like me and you're on Windows 7 and you like to go ahead and look through your tabs through arrow. So guys, to show you what I mean, let me go ahead and just show you a normal Google Chrome window. So you guys, as you can see, I have three tabs up, but if I hover over the bottom, over the arrow, it's only going to show me the window. It won't show me the individual tabs. Well, guys, there's a very simple way to go ahead and make it where it will show you the tabs, okay? So the first thing you have to do, though, is close the browser. And you actually might want to check in Task Manager to make sure it is totally closed. So once you've done that, create a Google Chrome shortcut on your browser. I mean, I'm sorry, on your desktop. It can be any of the builds. It can be stable, beta, or developer build. It doesn't matter. So, guys, go ahead and right-click it and come down to Properties. Now guys, in the target, you will need to go ahead and add something. So just tab over, make sure not to delete it or anything. And outside the quotation mark, space, and then you guys go ahead and type this in. It will be on the screen. It is dash, dash, enable, dash, arrow, dash, peak, dash, tabs. Okay, guys? So just put it in exactly like you see on the screen right now, and then you'll be all set. So just go ahead and hit apply, then hit OK. So guys, you're pretty much done now. Just go ahead, if you like, just go ahead and open it up. If you like, guys, you can go ahead and drag this down and put it on your taskbar, and it will work just the same. Um, so yeah, guys, so let's go ahead and open up a couple tabs here. So let's go ahead and open up Zidric. Let's go ahead and open up YouTube. So guys, if you come down here and hover over it now, you will see that all three tabs show up as separate windows and arrows. So we can go ahead and mouse over any of them, um, you know, take a look at them, or we can go ahead and click on one to change over. So guys, this is really handy if you use Google Chrome, and especially if you have Windows 7, then I, guys, I absolutely recommend do this. If you don't like it, all you have to do is just delete the shortcut and you'll be good to go. Anyway guys, thanks for watching.